What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with more NBA 2K15 and Malik Akwebu's career as a Charlotte Hornet for now. We just signed our second 10-day contract, which is going to give us four more games to impress the Hornets and hopefully make the roster. Now, if you watched the last game, you know commentary's been a little rough. I am still very much adjusting to how to edit these games, how to do commentary to them. The way I've been editing the videos makes it kind of difficult for me to keep a train of thought while I'm doing commentary. The first two games, or the first game I recorded, I did live commentary. Now, that is a lot easier for me to do. <coughs> ah, sorry, I'm still getting over this cold. That's a lot easier for me to do. However, as I get more minutes in this series, it's going to be a lot longer videos. And that just makes it a nightmare for a whole new reason. And that's uploading time kind of stalls me with other things that I could be working on. So I'm still trying to find some kind of medium that will allow me to have good commentary smooth gameplay uh, without the video going on too long it's just gonna take me some time to get in a little bit of a niche with things guys I hope you're patient with me uh, I hope you can still enjoy this series with me stumbling over words even more than I do in Madden uh, and you know whatever else is going on I don't know it's really hard for me to stay focused on a few things at once in this series I don't know why that is but hopefully you guys have patience with me as we get the kinks worked out and I'm excited, so let's go ahead and get going with our second 10-day contract here. We're going up against the Wizards once again. They just beat us, but this is our first game at home since we signed with the Hornets. I'm excited about it. I love the court. And we will be guarding Paul Pierce to get things going, so let's see how it goes. And right off the bat, Malika Kwebu gets a turnover with a moving screen. That is not the way to get things going. And you can see him pleading with the refs, but it is to no avail. So Kemba Walker and the Hornets back with the ball now. And as you can see, we are playing with the first stringers. This is our first chance to really do this, and I'm excited. Malika Kwebu takes a pass from Kimball Walker. Now he's in trouble. He kicks it back out to Kwebu, tries to set a screen, but Walker doesn't need it. Going to the hoop, and that is an easy assist for Malika Kwebu. Again, nice to play with the starters. You know, if we can start building chemistry with them, it might earn us some more minutes in the game. Uh, a nice little on-ball screen, and back to Kimball Walker. He's trying to drive it. He's hesitating. He is stuck on the block. He needs a bailout. Marvin Williams, a little fadeaway. He misses, but Malika Quagboo with the offensive rebound and put back. Two points for Quagboo there. 10 to 14. The Wizards still have the lead, but Quagboo providing some energy off the bench. You know, he had that early turnover, but an assist, a rebound, and two points already as the Wizards have the ball. Gortach is backing down Zeller with ease. A Quagboo trying to help out, but he gets the goaltending call. Not going to be good for our teammate grade. Our teammate grade is going to be so important in terms of earning a roster spot because we're not going to put up a whole lot of stats. Again, I'm trying to play a little bit more grindy here. So it's going to be all about, you know, impressing our teammates, doing all the little things. And as long as we can do that and earn a good teammate grade, I think we'll stick around in this league, hopefully with the Hornets. Uh, Webster kicks it back out to Andre Miller, who throws it down to Humphreys. Humphreys is kind of setting a little bit of a screen there as Miller used him as one anyway. Back out to Martell Webster. Webster trying to figure out what to do. Time is running out. Andre Miller is going to have to shoot it. And Okwegbu is going to Matumbo him with the block. Uh, and Okwegbu having a great game early on. Really contributing all over the court as he has the ball here trying to figure out where to go. He finds Noah. Noah fakes the three, but nobody's buying that at all. Now he's kicking it down underneath two points. And Okwebu is going to get a better teammate grade for setting a screen there. Roberts now trying to figure out what to do. Another little screen from Okwebu. We are going to live off of these screens early on, guys. Okwebu feeling it. He shoots the three, but no such luck at all. And uh, that's just not going to work this early. I'm going to have to increase that uh, stat. But this time we find Neil. Neil is more than capable of knocking down those threes. It did not fall for him there. And that is a blown assist opportunity. As Wall has the ball for the Wizards. Aquebu looks a little lost. Not sure what he is doing here. Uh, finally settles on a target. And Webster going in. He will miss it. Aquebu gets the rebound. Now he's leading the break here for the Hornets. Trying to figure out where to go. Everybody seems to be pretty covered. He kicks it over to Roberts. Aquebu now a little shake and bake trying to figure out what to do. He finds Vonlet and he misses the layup. He gets the rebound and puts it back up. But that is a blown assist that we could have had. Roberts with the ball now. Uh, Hornets trailing by two, 42 to 40. Aquebu kicks it down to Noah this time and he will not miss that one. So a second assist for Aquebu should have been three, but that's okay. Rookie mistakes, you know they happen. We have plenty our, um, by ourselves, I guess. John Wall kicks it over. To Seraphin now trying to figure out what to do back to wall 
And he is being guarded by Roberts, and that is not good for Quaybu Webster just burned him and caught the rookie off guard. And plays like that are going to keep us off the court, which is not good if we're trying to earn a spot here, especially when we follow it up with the turnover. Another moving screen for Quaybu. And just like that, the Wizards are ahead by eight with under a minute to go at halftime here. Before halftime, Gary Neal with the ball kicks it over to Quaybu. Quaybu trying to make something happen down to Biombo. Back to Okwegbu who finds a Biombo under the basket, but he cannot convert. Uh, you would think a seven-footer would be able to make that shot. No such luck, though. And that will be it for halftime. The Hornets are going into half, trailing by eight. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, everybody, pay attention. We definitely got some stuff to go over from the first half. We're not going to let this game get away from us. The first thing I've got to do is give a little tip of the cap to our bench guys. You really answered the bell when we called on you. Those were important points we got from you fellas. There was no slacking off in terms of our work on the offensive glass. I'll grant you that. We converted a lot of second chance buckets because of our effort out there. And it served us very well to play this game at a quick pace the rest of the way. Let's see how much damage we can do on the break. And that's all I wanted to go over with you. Let's go play a good half of basketball. Back in the second half now, as you can see, we're going in pretty early here. It's nice to get those second half minutes. You know, they didn't trust us with those right off the bat. So the fact that he's showing a little more confidence in us is pretty good. I would be shocked if we get in in the fourth quarter here, so we might only have a minute and 30 to work with. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out, and that is not a good showing for a Quake Boo. Bradley Beal sees the rookie making a mistake and makes him pay early on. It is a 16-point lead for the Washington Wizards as the third quarter is rolling down here. Malika Quake Boo kicks it back out, trying to get an assist here. No such luck. Humphreys with the rebound, and we are going to get subbed out. So very little time in the second half. We got some burn in it, but, you know, when we give up a huge wide-open layup like that, it's definitely going to hurt our stock with this team. So, not a great showing there, but the first half we did pretty solid. I was actually kind of happy with our contributions in that uh, period, or half as I probably should say. Uh, again, not much time in the second, but that's all right. Teammate grade, we did get a B. Now, teammate grade is going to be very, very crucial for us making the team. We're not going to be putting up a whole lot of stats. I know I keep saying that, but it's just the way it is. We're going to be a role player, so it's going to be important to keep our teammate grade up. On to the next game, we got the Philadelphia 76ers. And let's go ahead and sub into us getting into the game at about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Here we go, and right off the bat, Richardson going, and he is going to beat us. And again, we got to pick up our defense, our defensive effort, especially if we're trying to be a defender. Um, allowing open layups like that, definitely not good, especially after giving up a big one against Bradley Beal last week in the third quarter. Malika Quigbu with the ball here, and he is going to kick it out. Roberts over to Henderson, and we got a pass to an assist award. So we have a C-plus teammate grade. That's okay so far. Okwegbu back with the ball. He finds Henderson. Henderson, a three-pointer. Good for the assist there. And that was a nice shot by Henderson. Not one of my favorite players in the NFL, or NFL, NBA, but uh, I will take that. Now McDaniels trying to shoot it over Okwegbu. Not happening. Good defense there from Okwegbu as he runs down the court. Roberts kicks it over to Henderson. Henderson misses the layup, and now the 76ers back with the wall. Back with the ball, Roten coming down the court now. He's going to try a wild shot, and this is a speed game right now. The Hornets racing back down the court. Roberts kicks it back out to Kid Gilchrist, kind of slowing it down a little bit finally after that uh, crazy few possessions there. Quagboo trying to set a screen for Roberts here. Robert takes it to Quagboo, backs off, and Roberts with the basket. Set screen for the score, B minus teammate grade. Decent start for us, kicking it over to Roberts. Five seconds to go. Roberts doing a little shake and bake, going, trying to make a last second shot. And that is the easiest assist that Quaybu will get in his career. I will take it. Uh, second quarter now, about four minutes to go. The Hornets have a one point lead, 43 to 42. Roberts with the ball, kicks it over to Quaybu, trying to drive here, and he will draw a foul. Nice job by Quaybu, getting to the line. 
uh, after the hard hit and his first free throw good barely oh I'm not a very good free throw shooter it's gonna take some time and again commentary I understand it's a little bit rough guys we'll get there I promise second free throw good as well so two points for a Quake Boo here two assists as well Roten with the ball and the uh, Hornets have a three-point lead right now 45 to 42 Roten kicks it over to Richardson Richardson at the top of the key trying to figure out where to go. His teammates aren't moving around much. He will hand it over to Tony Roten Jr. Who will kick it over to McDaniels. And a Quake Boo could not get a hand in his face quick enough. You cannot play off McDaniels like that. He will make that shot. Roberts with the ball for the Hornets. A one point lead right now. About 3 minutes 30 seconds to go here in the half. And another screen from a Quake Boo. They will end up passing it over to him. And he will kick it back out to Roberts wide open. Oh, and Roberts cannot make the shot, so missed assist there. Roten with the ball now, and Aquabu's going to draw the foul on moving screen. We had a few of those go the other way last game. It's nice to see him draw one now, but McDaniels gets by Aquabu there and takes it to the basket. Aquabu kind of recovered, played an okay defense, and McDaniels ended up missing the bunny. So Roberts passes it over to Aquabu now, who gives it to Biombo going, and he will draw the foul. Guys, I apologize. I know my commentary is everywhere. I'm trying to figure this out. It's a little bit rough. Uh, Roberts kicks it over to Marvin Williams, a nice assist there, and that will give the Hornets a four-point lead, only two points now. With about a minute 15 to go, Roberts kicks it down to Aquagbu, drawing another foul. That is his second drawn foul of the game, and I like the fact that we're getting to the line a little bit. However, he will miss the first free throw here. Hopefully, we can make this other one have a 75% free throw rating. Unfortunately, it's not going to go our way, so two-point lead after two missed free throws. Uh, Richardson at the line now, and Aquagbu will grab the rebound, taking the ball down the court for the Hornets here. And I should probably start running plays. I need to figure out where to turn that option on. But Aquagbu taking it to the basket, finds Marvin Williams, and that is another assist. Uh, that makes three assists now for Aquagbu. Trying to set the screen, did not work, but he is wide open here. Going to try a long three, and no such luck. I never should have even tried that, but I did. It didn't work. Uh, so about a two-point lead as the half is about to wind down here. The Hornets need to make a defensive stand. And unfortunately, McDaniels will get by a Quagboo there to tie the ball game at halftime. Let's see what he says. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first if we pay attention to a couple of things. A nice chunk of our offense in the first half came from the low post. And one thing that should definitely do for us in the third quarter is open things up on the perimeter. We should have a lot of room to operate outside. On a good note, our passing has been very smooth. You set each other up with some really nice assists. That's strong team basketball. Let's keep it up. And let's start every possession this half by looking to trigger the fast break. Less bodies on the defensive glass and more guys headed up the court looking for the outlet pass. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that W. Let's see what you got, son. Oh, I got here in the second half, uh, and it looks like there's only about a minute left in the third quarter. As we know, last time they kind of took us out right afterwards. So we'll see what we can do here. Try to make some plays happen, and a nice play there for Roberts as he got by the 76ers defense. So one point game. If we can make something happen here, we will go into the fourth with the lead, and Henderson cannot make it. Biombo though. Gets the rebound and the putback to give the Hornets a one-point lead. And we are actually playing the fourth quarter. This is huge. We're really going to have to stand out here. Show that we belong in the NBA at this level. And right off the bat, Aquagbu gets the steal. Going down, Biombo leading the break. He finds Aquagbu. And Aquagbu will finish the play. A steal and the basket. That is huge for the rookie in terms of standing with this team. Trying to prove that he belongs on the floor in the fourth quarter. And making plays like that is going to give him more time. Little on-ball screen there. Aquagbu gets the offensive rebound in the fourth. Kicks it back out to reset the play. And a lot of hustle coming from the young player out of Appalachian State right now. You know the coach has to love this. He sets a screen. Roberts kicks it out underneath the Biombo, who cannot finish the basket. It's a five-point game with 10 minutes to go. And McDaniels, who is having a pretty good game for the 76ers, making the layup, making it a three-point game. Back on defense again, Aquagbu trying to find his man. He will get out on Roten now. Roten passes it, and that is going to get swatted by Aquagbu. Roten does recover, though, 
And now he finds Richardson in the right corner. Richardson trying to make something happen. A little fadeaway. No such luck, but the 76ers will get the offensive rebound and the foul. So, pretty good effort from a Quagboo here early on. I definitely like what he is bringing to the table. And I think we might be getting subbed out after this. Let's see what happens. That's how we do it. Good work. All day long. Yeah, you know you're doing good when the coach is giving you some props. Gotta love the effort. And if you look at this, he liked what we were doing so much. He's going to throw a Quagboo back into the game under two minutes to go. He's taking Stevenson out. I don't know what's going on. He is loving the effort he's seen from a Quagboo tonight. And we are going to be in the game with a minute 50 to go. We have a four-point lead, so defense is going to be essential. Okwebu is really needed, going to stand up here, make some plays right off the bat. They are trying to attack him. Williams is going to take an off-balance shot here. No such luck. Noel gets the rebound and fouled. So a two-point game, a minute 30 to go. And they are going to give the ball to Okwebu in a critical situation. See if he can make something happen for the Hornets here. He kicks it out to Marvin Williams. Williams kicks it over to Cody Zeller. Zeller trying to figure out what to do. Okwebu is kind of in his way, though. Trying to get out of the way now. They will pass it back to him. And he is trying to figure out where to go. He finds Marvin Williams for the three. And that is a huge assist. Okwebu making all kinds of things happen right now in the fourth quarter. That is a five-point lead for the Hornets. Now they just have to D back up. Williams trying to tackle Okwebu again. He will pass it out to Alex Schved who finds Fernando down on the block trying to make something happen against Cody Zeller. Kicking it back to Shved. This is a three. Or it was a two. I'm sorry, but he did make it. Uh, a quick move back with the ball now. And he will find Kimball Walker. Walker trying to make it happen. He finds Marvin Williams at the top of the key. Resetting the play. They give it to a quick move here. 35 seconds to go. Driving. He finds Zeller. For another assist, that is Okwebu's fifth assist of the game, and he has been the life force behind this fourth quarter play for the Hornets as he grabs the rebound and gets fouled. A five-point lead. All they have to do is hold onto the ball, make their free throws, and the Hornets will escape with their second straight victory. And Okwebu had a big thing to do with it. He has played great in the fourth quarter here. They will foul Marvin Williams. He will make some free throws. And that will be it. The Hornets will escape with the victory. I cannot believe the coach trusted us. Taking Lance Stevenson out uh, of the fourth quarter, much less we went in. And in those last two minutes, we might have been the best player for the Hornets. You know, we got an assist, uh, a two assist, actually. We got a big clutch rebound. Definitely a good fourth quarter showing from Malika Quagbu. And again, this is only going to get us more time in future games, especially in critical situations. Teammate grade A, that's big. Uh, fair was our performance grade. Let's go ahead and check out a few upgrades. Guys, I'm going to apologize again. I've said it a few times. I know the commentary is rough right now. Ugh, I need to figure out what to do with these games because the way I've been editing them, it leads me all over the place. I can't really get any kind of thought out. It's not very organized. But I don't know how else to edit these videos. Again, I said this last video. I'm recording this before posting the last, so I don't know what you've said. But any suggestions that you guys have, please let me know. Because I'm excited about this game. I want to play it, and I want to do better at commentary. So any, any uh, ideas would be great. I'll see you next time. Later.